What is up guys? We're back with another Cheat Engine tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Risk of Rain 2. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, two things today. We're going to be doing unlimited coins, unlimited money, whatever, however you want to call it. And we're also going to be doing unlimited XP. Uh, it's not too hard. Just follow along. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in Discord. Uh, hit a, you know, put a comment below, either one, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, let's get into it. So first thing you want to do is you want to download cheat engine to do that all you got to do is go to google type in cheat engine uh, first link will take you to the cheat engine download website you want to get cheat engine 7.0 and 7.0 that's the latest release uh, when you download it uh, there's one step in there where it tries to download some spam just make sure you uncheck those boxes and continue um, it's a pretty easy walkthrough just go ahead and take care of that all right so once you have Cheat Engine installed, uh, it should launch. It's going to look like what you see on the far right of your screen. And uh, that's the interface. So it looks a little intimidating, but it's not that bad. Um, so basically, the way Cheat Engine works is once you uh, have it open, you're going to hit the monitor icon on your top left. And then that is going to open a process list, which looks like this. And with that process list open, you want to make sure that you select Risk of Rain 2. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And when you do that, on the top of your cheat engine, you will see that it actually says Risk of Rain 2.exe. Or, yeah, Risk of Rain 2.exe up here. So what's going to happen is we're going to play the game. And basically, we're going to try to use cheat engine to find our money value within risk of rain and then once we find it we'll be able to manipulate it um just scan type we're going to go by exact values because we can see exactly how much money we have and value type we're going to do four bits just because i we we already know what that is i'm telling you it's it's four bits so so in risk of rain if you're in single player it works no matter what if you're in multiplayer as the host of the party it'll work for you if you're not the host, you can get it to work, but you have to do one extra step. And I'll show you that when we get to it. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and do single player. Um, you can play as any character you want to. Uh, range is easier to do this cheat because to do it, you wanna be at range. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do the starting character and I'm gonna do easy and I'm gonna hit ready. So when the game launches, I'm gonna go back over to cheat engine before we hit first scan, value type's four bytes, that's good. Scan type, exact value. Right now, starting the game, we have $15, $15 dollar sign. So we're gonna hit first scan. So there's a lot of things in this game files that has a value of 15. So we're gonna go ahead and start the game and we just need to kill some bad guys. So now that we've killed two bad guys, we have 23 coins. So we're gonna change this 15 to a 23 and hit next scan. And just like that, we're down to, you know, five values. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill another enemy. We're 26. All right. So you can see we're at 29 coins and every value in Cheat Engine is now 29. So all we wanna do is make sure we get safe. And one at a time, we wanna start changing the values of our Cheat Engine. So I'm just gonna make sure I get safe. I think we're good up here. So I'm gonna go back to Cheat Engine. All of these values, we're gonna start changing them one at a time. You just click it, right click, change value. Let's go with the throw some nines in there. So we did that and nothing happened. So we're just gonna go to the next one. Change value, select an address, throw some nines in there. Nothing happened and just work your way down the list. So that one stuck. Like you can see that there's a whole bunch of nines in here, but in the game, we still only have 33. So I'm gonna keep going. And last but not least, the bunch of nines. And that was it. So now that we know it's that one, while it's selected, we're gonna hit this little green arrow to bring it down to our main area. I'm gonna go back to the game, make sure I don't die. But now we have a whole bunch of coins. And just to show you that they are legit, I'm just going to go start buying stuff. So, 
So there's a turret. We went down 35. And basically, you just walk around and look for things that you can buy. And there you have it. You have unlimited coins. I'm just going to fast forward through this um, just to show you that I can buy stuff and nothing ever happens. There's no issues. Right, I uh, or all right. Now that I've shown that I can, you know, buy a whole bunch of items and you know everything worked, I didn't run into any issues. I'm gonna go ahead and kick off the uh, teleporter, and I will show you how the XP works. So if you play this game or if you if you have played this game in the, the past and you know that any money that you have, whenever you go through the teleporter, it converts that money into XP. So since we have told the game that we have, you know, hey, we have nine million dollars, uh, that nine million dollars, as soon as the, uh, the teleporter is ready, is going to turn into nine million XP or it, it's not might not be a direct um, translation from nine million dollars to nine million XP but so when we go through this teleporter here our nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand dollars is actually gonna convert into experience so if you look at the bottom left I'm level three when I hit this all of my money goes down my XP goes up and now I'm level 27 and when you go into the next level um, it does kick your money back to zero, but all you got to do is go right back to this value you have at the bottom of Cheat Engine, change it back to whatever you want, and you're done. Um, I had mentioned in the early earlier part of this video that if you're playing with a friend and they're the host, that there's, it kind of gets a little iffy. The only thing you have to do is in Cheat Engine, this value, make sure it's an active value. Now, all that does is it means that if you buy something, your money doesn't go down. So I had 100,013, I bought something, uh, it stayed 100,013. So when you're playing online and your friend's the host, it keeps track of how much money you guys have on theirs. So whenever an enemy is killed, it goes to their computer and it updates it, which then forces your computer to update. But if you lock your value at 100,000, then it kind of ignores what their computer is saying and it only focuses on the value that you assign it. So there you go. Unlimited money, limited XP. Have fun, enjoy it. Um, if you got a game you want me to look into, let me know. And uh, till next time.